welcome to a week in my life as a graduate student at the University of Michigan. I'm so excited to take you through my week as we prepare for the opera, my music directing Into the Woods, a performance of the Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra to a crowd of 3,500 people, my classes as a graduate student, my jobs, and it's going to be such a blast. Stay with me to the end. Let's go! It is a beautiful fall day in Ann Arbor. On the agenda today, I'm heading to a rehearsal with my professor, Professor Katz, for the song interpretation class. I'll be performing in class this week. And then it's a double rehearsal day. We're putting the cast entirely together and we have one last finale scene to stage. It's gonna be a long day, but an exciting one. I had an appointment in the Carytown area, so I went around the shops there, enjoyed all that there is in the fresh farmer's market, ran into some friends, and then I went off to rehearsal. It was our first day putting on costume props, so you can see some tails in there. I got to wear my big feather boa as the chicken and get to practice being on stage with it. It was such a blast. And Sunday fun day, starting out with a workout, then some coffee, and going through some pieces in preparation for a big rehearsal and lesson day. Okay, on the agenda today, we have a voice lesson that I'm teaching, as well as a coaching for myself, and then heading over to Into the Woods rehearsal across Ann Arbor. Here we are in the practice wing. You can actually hear a bunch of people singing right now because it's opera auditions. Speaking of auditions, it was time to prep my own students for their auditions. It brings me so much joy to be able to share my passion of music and singing with my students that are anywhere from six years old all the way to adults. Honestly, teaching others is the best way to learn yourself. I'm so fortunate to be able to contextualize the work I've been doing at school and see these light bulb moments and excitement in others. And into the woods we go. On to the next event of the day. I got my new tech toy, a pedal page turner, and it has been so helpful for this show with all these different overlapping um, rhythmic dialogue parts. If you know, you know. Today we worked on rhythmic clarity, so my claves did make an appearance, and uh, we did more work on act two with the full cast. After rehearsal, I took a stroll through Ann Arbor, just running some errands, and I saw the poster for the concert that I'll be performing on with the legendary Wynton Marsalis at Hill Auditorium. Every day is an adventure walking into the assignment of the day. What I love about my schedule is that it is a lot, but it feels so different every day. I never get tired because it's something new, it's something fresh. I'm about to meet second graders for the very first time. I've never been at this school subbing, so it should be really fun and I'm excited. I utilize my lunch and prep time to get work done for school. And I reflect on funny things like this. I always introduce myself. Hello, my name is Miss Cinderella. Great to be with you all. And that always has a reaction because it's Cinderella. They always ask me like more follow-up questions. They're trying to get to know me. So today it was a lot of like personal questions. Like, are you married? Do you have children? Do you have a baby? And I said, well, no, I don't have a baby, not married. Um, and then they're like, so you're the baby. <laughs> it was like a realization. And I was like, well, I guess everyone is a baby in that regard, right? Everyone has parents and uh, they're children of others, right? So everyone's a baby. <laughs> and then there was always another follow-up question. When are you getting married? When are you having children? <laughs> it was just funny, some funny reactions of the day. After teaching, I had a quick meeting with my professor at the music school, and then I went straight to Into the Woods rehearsal. That's a wrap. Little coaching with Cinderella, Cinderella on Cinderella. I know, talk about that. We have the lights set up. They're doing headshots. Zoom, <sighs> zoom. I headed to the Performing Arts Center for our first combined rehearsal with all 200 choir members in preparation of Wynton Marsalis' All Rise. All right, and two and a half hour rehearsal. We are done. I went back to the car. I was really, really stressed. I was afraid that the car would be towed because I kind of had to make up a spot illegally but it's thankfully here and I'm ready to go home. <laughs> New day Tuesday. I rarely have time to eat a nice meal these days at home. So since we didn't have choir in the morning, I took the time to make myself breakfast, some coffee in a cup that happened to match my blouse, and then off to start my day. So this is the famous hill as we go down from the parking lot. I will say it's a lot more fun going down the hill than going up the hill, coming back to the car. But it is just so beautiful right now. Like check out all these leaves. The falling leaves drift by my window. 
the falling leaves of red and gold. It's just so stunning. It's great to be here, and especially during this beautiful fall season. A lot more fun than in the winter when it becomes icy. <laughs> so I, uh, I chose this practice room of all the practice rooms, and it's, it's giving disco party right now. <laughs> all right, obviously I'm gonna have to go find another one now. Off to my lesson. I meet with my voice teacher, Dr. Toppin, once a week for an hour. We worked on connection throughout the range and utilizing breath energy in this active warm up. Since I'm really only in school for two full days this semester, I make full use of the time while I'm there. Next up, I had a short jazz rehearsal in advance of a recording we're doing later in the week and worked out an ending. One of my favorite things about being at the music school is running into all my favorites in between classes. Say hello, friends. Ah! I performed my song today in song class. No footage here for the rest of the day, but it was a great day. Welcome to the inside of my vehicle. I'm just going over some music before my lesson. Sometimes I get here a little bit early, so I do a quick little warm up and get ready for my lesson. Aspirin is air first, hold second, mm -hmm. right? In these sessions, I learn how to teach in different styles. Today's topic was different onsets and continuing with our discussion of different registers. It's more of a mixed place. Correct. Mm -hmm. I think so too. Yeah. Would you say it was chest dominant, head dominant, or neither? Chest. Okay. Maybe like a 64. All right. And we are on location, central campus. Going to get this recording done real fast right before studio class. All right, the marathon day continues. I feel like it's never complete without me carrying a garment bag in the music school. And that is our day. Performed in studio class, got some comments and off to Hill. Here we are, we have arrived at our Hill Auditorium rehearsal, our dress rehearsal. Check it out. I have my friend Josh. <laughs> Bass Josh, can you tell that he's a bass? Say something, Josh. Wow, what's good? Huh? It's your boy Chips Ahoy. <laughs> we end this thing. This can you tell he's a bass? Yeah. All right, it's gonna be a fun time. We are so lucky to have this incredible space. I'll never get tired of soaking up this beautiful view from the stage. So we are on a break right now. We heard it with the orchestra and with the Jazz at Lincoln Center. So incredibly phenomenal. Winton Marcellus is playing with us, which is super cool. He's playing his own piece and soloing on it. And I was just listening in awe as we were singing the choir and just taking it all in. What an incredible experience. Good morning. It's a new, beautiful day. It was a late night last night um, being at Hill Auditorium for the rehearsal until 10.30 p.m. But I'm really grateful that I get to do what I get to do and be so busy. And I'm wondering if anyone else is like this, but I can never actually fall asleep after my body is like fully engaged, my breath is engaged, my brain has to be 100% on in these rehearsals. If you have a staging rehearsal or a tech rehearsal or something like that going until the very late hours, can you actually fall asleep after? I really can't fall asleep until like, 1, 2 a.m. after these rehearsals. And then I wake up really early the following day because I have a full schedule. I'm subbing today just for half the day before my classes start, um, but it's a new exciting day and I can't wait to get started. Made some tea because my throat was feeling it this morning when I woke up. So having a little tea with some honey, just some warm fluid to go down my throat and hopefully make me feel a little bit better. I did a half day of teaching before the rest of my classes at Michigan. It's always nice to revisit the basics, like... Did you know if you wanted to change a law for how much candy that you can have in a day, would it be the judicial, the legislative, or executive branch of the government? So my coach canceled my coaching today and the alternate time didn't work with my schedule because I said that I needed to run an errand because I was not feeling too hot. So I knew, I knew I needed to come home. So this is my errand right here, running my errand at home. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get better soon. More English song lit, then off to Into the Woods rehearsal. I had two coachings with the leads. We talked about breath propelling the energy forward, creating contrast in sections and more detailed work. I'm so proud of this K-12 cast. It's really been coming along and I'm so excited for that. This has been an absolute mad dash over here at Hill Auditorium about to enter. I was at a rehearsal literally 30 minutes before, but we're here, we made it, and let's go, let's do it. 
One of my favorite things over the course of a show or a concert process is not only the music making, but also bonding with colleagues before rehearsal and during breaks. And it's time to go home. The consistent 16-hour days for the past three weeks really started catching up with me. I drank that entire pitcher of tea all by myself, lots and lots of tea. I took the day off from when I would normally be teaching and took the time to organize, rest, and put together my bag of all of my goodies for my recording session. I don't even know how it ended up fitting in my bag, but I made it work, got the iPad in there, and I was off with my precious cargo. A great reason to always be early for a recording session or performance. Um, you never know may, what may happen. So I was in traffic for 25 minutes, but I'm still on time for the session because I left the house very early. Um, so it wasn't as much time as I would have liked to have before the session, but I'm still ready to go. 5 p.m. session, let's do it. Got the keys for the piano, arrived at the hall, and it was time for setup. Why you're recording with my friend Joey and he had some really great words of advice about just doing takes and doing recordings. What was it, Joey? You gotta go one more take past the one you think is the one. Yeah, and then you always have like a good option one, option two, and you get to choose between those two. And we're off to the All Rise concert after this. Today is the day, tonight is the night. The All Rise concert with the Jazz at Lincoln Center. And I'm so excited. Just got my tickets for my family at the box office. And now I'm heading into the Modern Languages building where everyone is congregating and getting ready for the show so we can get some notes and line up and get ready to go to Hill. What do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? We have a standard mask. But if you ask Tyler, we have an invention. Look at this. I left my cufflinks and hardware at home and I saw the masks and it was meant to be. So now, so now we have cufflinks mm -hmm. out of masks. Mm -hmm. Look, there I am. The size of a dot, it's me. It was almost a sold out audience with over 3000 people and everyone really seemed to enjoy it. It was truly a once in a lifetime experience and I'm so grateful for it. After the performance, the School of Music invited one of the choirs and orchestras to a pizza place to celebrate. And that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching this video, my week in the life. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like down below. Subscribe to my channel, click the bell for notifications to get notified every time I post a new video. And check out all the upcoming content. I'm so excited to be sharing with you some vocal technique, music technology reviews, and so much more. Stay updated, stay connected, and I'll see you in the next video.